y'all we are back with another video <laughs> and this time we weren't gonna make a video at first we were just gonna let it slide but then another announcement was made so now we have to get into it it's zing and kai kai and zing all right y'all if you watch love is blind you know what we're talking about ayana and jared announced that they were getting a divorce yeah which i'm really sad about i was devastated devastated i mean i loved them i loved the image of them i loved the idea of them but you know what in the grand scheme it, it makes sense they're getting a divorce it, it never was right from the beginning for me personally i need to be your number one choice and i feel like ayana deserved that from moment one and so just them getting married and even having that on film right him choosing i say right too freaking much even but even him Telling Mallory he wanted her first and then saying, oh, well, I'll go to Ayana. Even being able to see that and the world to see that, I just didn't think it was fair to her. So No, it was it was pretty sad. But, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic, so I held yes, out she hope. Is. And I followed, not followed them, but, like, kept up with them on social media. And things seemed great. Then, boom, they announced the divorce. I didn't think things seemed great. It's crazy because me and my That's sister true. disagree with Kylie. I thought it seemed great. We, we felt like she was not getting what she deserved and i never really saw her happy she didn't really seem very happy she seemed happy to be in love and happy to be in a relationship but not happy because the man that she's with adores her and puts none before her and you know is treating her like the queen that she is and i think that's why her parents were so protective of her because they mm -hmm. didn't feel like she was getting what she deserved that's just my personal opinion so i'm i'm and as much as I know they're both in pain and I feel bad for them and I think Jared will eventually get it together, I'm happy for her to be free to kind of be found by the man that is going to put her first. Find the right person, yeah. Um, but that's, even after all that, that wasn't what made us make a video. Guess who just announced they were getting a divorce? I done forgot their names. Me too, Danielle and, and whatever dude's name is. Oh we'll my God. Here's a picture. <laughs> They didn't announce they were getting a divorce. And now we, we were like, you know what? Enough's enough. We have to make a video. At this point, it's giving they were under contract and had to stay together for a certain amount of, t of time, which is why they're now announcing their divorce less than a week apart. Yeah, that's, that's really, like, fishy. And here's my thing with this couple. I never liked them. <laughs> Yes. Talking about Danielle and Nick. I don't know who they are. Okay, that's how irrelevant they are. Okay. That I don't know if they're gonna survive if she keeps doing that. <laughs> I never liked them. They were a hot mess at the beginning. They were a hot mess now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I just agree with her one hundred percent on them. I don't, I don't even have anything much else to say outside of the fact that they were pretty much a train wreck all through. Yeah, it was strange, but but it is very eyebrow raising that they're both doing it at the same time yeah so. it's like was it like you guys are in a contract for two years after the show um or like a year after the show airs and then after that you guys can decide and it's like were you were you guys waiting for that like yeah. did you decide you didn't want to be together like a year ago and had to pretend for the gram oh goodness that makes me question every post every like everything Every woman crush Wednesday. Like, I am questioning everything at this point, which we wanted to bring it to you guys. We want to hear in the comment section what you think. Because is Love is Blind a complete joke? Oh, yeah. Tell them about uh, Shake. Oh, Shake. Okay, so apparently he was on, like, TMZ or something. I don't remember the source. But Shake was shaking things up like he normally does. And he was just, yeah, he's not going to be at the reunion. And he was, was it, is it the reunion? Or the like, the, like where, are they, where are they now kind of special. And he was just like, this whole thing was a stupid failed experiment and it's fake. And he was like calling out everybody. I mean, you know, as Shake does. But I'm starting to see some truth. Here's the thing about Shake. He is annoying. He's super... Ick? Yeah. He gives you the ick. Yeah, I don't even have a word for him that's civilized. But he's, he's, he's annoying, but... He be saying some stuff that'd be kind of true. Yeah, and it, it makes us really question the entire TV series, if I'm being honest. I mean, yeah, we have our Cam, 
and our Lauren, right? But but out of how many couples that got together, how many are Cam and Lauren? And and uh, honestly, nah, I'm gonna get canceled for saying what I was about, thinking. But if you have any idea what I was thinking, go <laughs> about double up. No, but in all seriousness, I just feel like the entire franchise, the entire what I just think there's not a lot of truth to it. But we've never been through the process, so who really knows? Yeah. All I know is that it's, it's like a cool, it sounds like a cool concept, but in the grand scheme of things, I think they should take the marriage piece away. Yeah, and that that would kind of take. Some pressure Some off of pressure. it. Some pressure. load off of it. And then these people know? would just date. You know? So what it would do, if the, if the concept without marriage, you know, were a thing, it would take these couples that would never normally talk and allow them to date. Mm -hmm. the, the marriage. Yeah. The marriage is really what makes it messy mm -hmm. because they get married and then it's like, it doesn't work out. Doesn't now you got out. divorcees because y'all wanted to have a cute little experimental show. Right. That's kind of like disheartening to see people have to go from feeling like they found everlasting love to now being divorcees because that was one of the stipulations of the show. Yeah. You know, in order to stay on the show, in order to have the experience, these people felt like they had to get married. Yeah. When I believe that Ayana deserved a little bit more time with Jared before she decided to get married. Decided to get married. Yeah, because now the world is upset. Like you should see her comment section. They turned off comments on one, but then on another picture, there's a bunch of comments. It's like it's very sad. We yeah. were all invested, and it's just a hot mess express. So we want to hear your thoughts. We just wanted to do a quick little commentary on this. And I want to say sending love to yeah. all the couples who are not together anymore. I feel like divorce is a very different difficult thing and yeah. you have to go through it Hell and the great. public eye is another element of grief so um praying for y'all sending y'all our thoughts and wishes yeah um, and honestly i don't know should, should people do this experiment we'll be watching though <laughs> anyway we want to hear your thoughts comment down below what you think is love is blind fake uh comment down below this is singing kai, kai and peace